in December 1948. A man's body was discovered on Somerton Beach in Adelaide, Australia. He was impeccably dressed in a suit with polished shoes. Authorities initially suspected heart failure or poisoning as the cause of death, but no traces of poison were found during the autopsy. The man had no wallet or identification on him. The tags from his clothing had been removed. Even his fingerprints were unidentifiable. Authorities published a photograph of the body in newspapers, but no one recognized him. Four months later, detectives found a hidden pocket sewn into the man's trousers. It contained a rolled up piece of paper from a rare book called the Rubaiyat. The paper had the words, Tamim Shud, meaning it has ended. Despite extensive efforts to locate the exact book, the man, now known as the Somerton Man, was buried without identification. A cast was made of his face, and he was embalmed for preservation. Eight months later, a man came forward to the police station. He claimed that shortly after the body was discovered, he found a copy of the Rubaiyat in the back of his car, which he often parked near Somerton Beach. Initially dismissing it, he later read about the search in a newspaper article and realized the torn final page of the book matched the piece of paper found on the Somerton man. Inside the book, there was a phone number and a strange code. The phone number led authorities to a woman named Jessica Thompson, who lived nearby. During her interview, she was evasive and even pretended to faint upon seeing the bust of the Somerton man, although she denied knowing him. However, she admitted to selling the book to a man named Alfred Boxel. Surprisingly, Alfred Boxel was alive at the time and still possessed the copy of the Rubaiyat that Jessica had sold him. The code found in the book remained indecipherable. It remains unsolved to this very day. According to Kay Thompson, Jessica Thompson's daughter, Her mother was the woman interviewed by the police. Kate mentioned that her mother had confessed to lying to them and that Jessica actually knew the identity of the Somerton man. She hinted that his identity was known by individuals with a higher level of authority than the police force. Kate speculated that both her mother and the Somerton man might have been spies. She pointed out that Jessica Thompson taught English to migrants, had an interest in communism, and could speak Russian. Kate could not disclose where her mother acquired these language skills or the reasons for having them. 